This video is sponsored by Editors Keys. For a great selection of video editing and recording products, visit editorskeys.com. Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my unboxing and first look of the Sony Nex F3. This is Sony's range of compact interchangeable lens cameras and this has just been upgraded to the very latest model and this particular one, the 18 to 55 millimeter kit, was sent to me by Park Cameras and you can pick this up from Park Cameras for £499 for the kit. And in the US, if you're buying from the US, it would equate to around about the $599 mark. So, quick look around the box. You can see here we've got some new features here. Self-portrait mode, uh, built-in flash, which isn't new. Uh, auto portrait framing, optical steady shot, Exmor sensor, Bion's AVC HD. This shoots full 1080p video. Let's stop the talking and get this unboxed and show you what we've got. Now whilst I'm just unsealing this, I will let you know that there'll be a series of videos on the Nex F3, including a look at the HD video performance, the photography features, and of course, a full review. So we've just unsealed the box for the first time. Let's see what we're presented with. So we've got some optional accessories just listed on the top here. You can get an electronic viewfinder, an additional flash carrying cases, uh, a mount adapter as well, which allows us to use A-mount lenses. At the moment, this is an E-mount lens uh, camera, so if we purchase this, we can use the larger A-mount lenses as well. First thing we've got in here is some guarantee information. Next up, we've got a CD with some application software on here. Then we've got some details about how the screen works and how to uh, sort of flip the screen up into self-portrait mode. We've got some details about the different power cords. And then we've got some registration information. Now next up, we've got a lenses and accessories brochure. This is just gonna guide you through some of the optional lenses and different bits and pieces you can get for the Sony Nex range. And then we have got a rather large uh, user manual in various languages and this is going to get you really up and running nice and quickly with the camera. Now we're down to the exciting bit. This is the uh, camera and charger and bits and pieces itself. So we've got a Euro charger, so two pin on this end, figure eight connector on this end. And then we're in the UK, so we've got another one with a figure eight on this end and then a three pin UK plug on the other. And next up, we have got an adapter. Now this is gonna convert the uh, figure eight adapter that goes into your wall socket into USB. And this is gonna be multi-voltage, so you can use it in any country. Last but not least, on the cable front, we have got a micro USB to full size USB cable. And there's no charger on this one, the battery actually charges inside the camera. And then we've got the battery itself. So this is an info lithium battery, and the rating on this is 7.2 volt, 1020 milliamp hour battery. It's an NP FW50. Last part of the accessories is a little sort of shoulder strap. And then we've got the exciting piece here, which is the camera itself. Looks like it's already got the lens attached. So let's take this out, get rid of the box. This is the Sony NEX F3. Very excited to get my hands on this. Look at this. Wow. It looks really nicely made, actually. And we've also got, this is a surprise, didn't expect to get this in the, in the box. We've got a little lens hood in there as well to stop any sort of lens flare from light hitting that lens. So let's have a look at the camera. So here we've got some details on specifications, 16.1 megapixels. Uh, built-in flash and it's got an APS-C size sensor so you can see there that it's slightly bigger than the four-third size sensor. Auto portrait framing and this looks really nice. Let's just snip this off so that we can have an easier look at the camera. So let's take a closer look at the Nex F3. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this is the 18 to 55 millimeter kit. So you've got an 18 millimeter through to 55 millimeter lens, very nicely constructed, nice and smooth on that zoom. And then we've got a manual focus ring as well, which is equally as smooth. Let's have a quick look at the front element, 
49 millimeter filter thread on the front of that lens. Really looking forward to testing this out. Around on the side, we've got a little cover here and this reveals micro USB and also the HDMI. Then we've got a little portion here, a little metal ring for putting the, uh, uh, the strap on and then another one on this side. And then on the top, we've got a little cover here. This hides an accessory port where you can put an EVF or electronic viewfinder. Button for the flash. Pop-up flash is sitting flush with the body. Playback button. A recessed movie button as well. That avoids accidental pushing. On-off toggle, just here. And then we've got the shutter button on the front. And a nice ergonomic grip. That feels really nice in the hand. And they've even put a little section on the back where you can rest your thumb when you're holding the camera. And then we've got two buttons here which can be customised. We've got a click wheel dial and then we've also got a uh, push in the middle here, sort of an OK or an enter button. And then this click wheel is also a four-way rocker switch as well for making various selections. Around on this side it's completely clear. Around on the bottom here we've got a standard tripod mount. We've got a little flap here which reveals a memory card slot and that takes memory sticks or SD cards. And then we've got the battery compartment. You can see I've already put the battery in there. Now something I have noticed is this is quite close to the tripod mount, so you're not going to be able to change memory cards if you run out of space without taking it off your tripod. I'm not too keen on that, but we can live with that. And then we've got the screen, 180 degree tiltable LCD screen. And what that means is we can put it up into sort of this position. So if you're holding this above your head, you can get those sort of high angle shots or we can tilt it all the way up so that it actually faces the front of the camera. Now this is great for doing self portraits or if you make uh, videos yourself, if you're a YouTuber, brilliant that you're gonna be able to see yourself. And then you can also flip this down and leave it tilted at this angle as well. Now the previous version of the next three line, it actually tilted down further. This one you've got hardly any tilt on that downwards motion, so it's not gonna be great for doing those overhead shots. But that said, it's a really nice screen. I would prefer to have the forward facing function than that uh, extra tilt on the downwards angle, and it just looks really well made. Really looking forward to getting this tested. So this is the Sony Nex F3. As I said at the beginning of this video, 499 pound from Park Cameras, or around about $598 if you're in the US please do subscribe to the Geek Noise channel. You're gonna be seeing a lot more videos on this, including HD video samples, some details on the photo quality, and also a full review. Thanks very much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you all in the next one.